Hi, and welcome back to a tutorial about quick tips in Logic Pro X. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before watching this and hit the bell so you get the notifications. Now, today we're going to take a look at capture recording. Now, what is capture recording? Basically, what it does is when you're jamming around on a beat and you've got a nice groove going and you're going, wow, this is really cool. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll record that. And then all of a sudden it's gone. You can't remember what you played. And you're going, oh, that was that was really funky. I can't, what, was, what were the chords? And, and it's gone forever. Well, in Logic, you can actually activate a function that captures anything you play whenever you play it. And that is pretty interesting. You're going, huh, what? Are you sure? Now, look, watch this. You go here, a customized control bar and display. Then you activate capture recording. Go OK. Then this comes up here, this little round red thing here. Now, I'm going to just play some keys on here without recording. Okay, so I'm jamming around going, well, that's really cool, but damn, I wish I could do that again. I don't think I could because I, it's not written down. I just, I was just jamming. So that's kind of gone. I didn't record it. Damn. Ah, oh, but there's this up here. Now, if I click on it, watch this. It's all there. Now it's recorded two tracks because basically it's just done a stack. So if I stick this behind this here, you hear this straight away. I'll just repeat that. That's pretty damn cool, really. I mean, um, I didn't know that existed. And I've been on Logic for since the before the war. And uh, so, so that's really cool. Um, discovery there um if you didn't know that then i suggest uh you use it in the future because you never know it can, could be pretty handy and i hope you enjoyed this video so if you did like subscribe and i'll be back soon and don't forget to leave some comments ciao